Oof, da. Two feet. It's uh, it's skinny water up here, and as I bet you guys can can figure out, it is now, you know, May 19th, and above the Highway 23 bridge is, is now open, so um, we're we're getting an early start. Again, there's not a ton of water to fish up here, and it's 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 skinny water, right? So uh, we made it a point to get up here very very early, take our time. A lot of like. 1.9 to like three foot of water that we're taking this this one over but that's what's nice about uh, the 219 Pro V is that we can be way out of Lake Superior fish a big water or you can be in here and literally like draft like that much right and get up into the skinny water where these these wallies are still gonna be right it's been a very very late spring there's a lot of fish above the bridge here um, you know that are probably still spawning right now or maybe just getting done so it's nice to uh, you know take advantage of when that that season does open above the highway 23 bridge we can get up here and uh, chase after some fish a little bit more river river to fish now so um, yeah let's uh, we just have a little bit to go here and uh, we're gonna get a couple baits in the water and just kind of see how how this compares and how this contrasts the, you know below the 23 bridge you know as you guys saw we had a very very good time fishing below the bridge tons and tons of fish um, you know, not many of the big, big females, you know, down there. So maybe they are up here. We're going to find out this morning and uh, kind of see how that's, uh, that's going to play out. But uh, yeah, it's going to be fun. I'm looking forward to it. Hooked up here, switched up and put a little plastic on there. Working it back towards the boat and he smoked it. That was a good walleye there. Find me the net cord. Nice walleye there. Get him aboard. Just smoke that northland plastic here. Probably a 23, 22 inch walleye. Switched it up, put a little plastic on there, and just was hopping it back towards the boat. This one just absolutely crushed it. There he is. Oh. <laughs> on the plastic again? Yeah. Just smoked it. Kind of just working it back and keep hopping it and letting it drop, letting the tail do the work in the current. And a lot of times they will hit it on the drop and pin it to the bottom too. There we go. <laughs> nope. And that's what he did. Pinned at the bottom just like I said there. You see he's on the bottom jaw there. There's a fish busker. It is red hot. That's a lot of fish. What's it gonna be? You never know up here. It's a nice big walleye. Big walleye, dude. <laughs> she didn't like that. Oh, she seemed to love that and said bye-bye. <laughs> oh, that's awesome, man. That is a nice fish. This is why you want a medium power rod. Boom. Beauty. That's awesome. That, uh, that feels good. That feels good. That's a big fish. Again. I'm just sticking with that same pink and white jig as below the 23 bridge with the minnow. Buskers catching them on the plastics. You know, whatever, right? There's a lot of fish up here. It's fun. And you gotta be ready because big girls like this are definitely around. That's a gorgeous fish. Pretty colors on that, hey? So much fun. A lot of boats, a lot of fish. That's cool, let's get this one back. Plastic in one hand. Middle and the other. In the other. <laughs> Is that the plastic? No, this one's the minnow. That's the minnow. Okay. So many fish up here. So many. But I would say one of the main okay. kind of main factors how this differs from below the bridges up here, like you can get away with a, a jig and a plastic and it works very, very well. Yeah. Right? Like down below you can fish it, but you kinda you kinda struggle sometimes. I just missed one. You kinda struggle with it, right? But up here like a jig and a plastic does very, very, very good. I don't know if it's just because of a lot tighter water, right? There's more current and maybe the fish are just more grouped up. I think the fish are even more grouped up up here versus down below. So um, that may be why, but that's one thing to keep in mind. I'm gonna stay with the minnow, but sometimes plastics can get you your bigger fish, right? So kind of the same program though, pitching it behind the boat, working it back up. Again, there's a lot of current up here, but there's also a lot of spots to get out of that current. So it's kind of the same program in, in that regard. But up here, you're gonna have a, you're gonna have a lot more people. But uh, you know, there's a lot of fish to, to go along with it. So.
Busker, that's a big fish. <laughs> Cheapers! That's 28, maybe more. Unbelievable. That's awesome. That makes it so worth coming up here, dude. Like, that's the fish. That's a giant, dude. Giant. Look at that thing. Wow. Unbelievable. Big female. We found one, finally. It took a while. It took us getting above the, the 23 bridge here on this late spring, but that's the fish you want. Unbelievable, buddy. Congrats. That's a good one. Let's get her back. Sweet. Fish. Double, buddy. Doubles. This is incredible, the amount of fish up here, man. Yeah, not a bad walleye. Whew. What do you got? Voila. Just the, the amount of, of fish like that, right? But you get those bigger kicker fish that are coming in, right? Gorgeous, gorgeous walleyes. It's madness up here. It is madness. And this is about as far as you know, your wallets can go here on the St. Louis River. You know, you got you got dams right here. So this is as far as they can go up. So this is where they're spawn, right? This is why it's closed for another five, six, seven days after the general Minnesota fishing opener to give these fish a chance to spawn and to drop back in the rivers. So um, yeah, no, it's pretty cool when you can get up here and you see them this congregated and you get this many fish. So we're definitely taking advantage of it. I like it. I don't know how long we're gonna stay in this spot. There's getting to be a lot of boats here, so we may drop back down the river a little bit, but this is fun while it's, while it's going. Yeah, feels like another good one. We just found a little pocket where they're just so loaded. And you get back there and you get hit immediately. This looks like another fish over 20 inches. There we go. Like I said, it's a good sign to see that these big females are still up here. It's definitely a spondo female there. Just mad, look at that. <laughs> she won't even open her mouth. There we go. Yeah, a little better fish here. The sheer numbers of them up here is just incredible. It's incredible. Yeah, it's a nice fish. Getting a little big to hoist, but we'll try it. Boom. Just thunked that Northland deep V jig. I'm kind of sticking it out with the jig in a minnow. Busker's still working that jig in a plastic, but again, when walleyes are hungry, like you can't go wrong with, with anything, right? Just grab whatever you have confidence in and cast it out there and set the hook. That's a chunky fish. Very, very chunky fish. And just the sheer numbers of them that are up here still. So, you know, as this week progresses, as the water warms up, as the water kind of drops in level, a lot of these fish are going to push down. So your lower river spots will get good again, right? They're just coming in waves. So it may be good one day, dead the next. Or if it's dead, it may be really good the next day. You know, especially with that numbers of fish that are still up here right next to the dam. So it's, uh, it's good to see. And, uh, yeah, it's uh, pretty incredible fishing. Thunk. Got him. <laughs> it's one after another, buddy. That's a nice fish. That's a nice fish. Ooh. That's the upper limit of hoisting. And look at that's a male. Like we're almost a week after the Minnesota fishing opener, and these fish are still dropping sperm, which is just incredible. Crazy, huh? The Northland deep V, I wonder how many walleyes I've caught in this one deep V jig. Like it's a lot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a lot, man. That's a gorgeous, gorgeous male fish. It's a big male, big male. Cool. A lot of big current off to our left here and it's kind of a slower pocket where we're at here. So it's just a place where these fish can sit and kind of, you know, eat and relax a little bit and kind of get back into the, into the swing of things. And, you know, I'm sure there are active spawning fish beneath us right now too. So it's crazy, uh, pretty cool to see. Although those big females you got were, uh, they, dropped their, they dropped their eggs. Yeah, oh yeah, they were empty for sure. Long and skinny, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so maybe, you know, I don't know. There's a lot of males up here though, I'll tell you that. Thunk. It's just like a heavy one, Busker. Yeah, let me know if you need an I don't think it's gonna be as uh, big as the one you got, but it's definitely, uh, Heavier fish that's staying down. That's what I love about those deep V jigs. That's such strong hooks on them. You can set the hook hard on bigger fish and you get no flex, no play. That feels like a good one. This could be what we're after up here. 
That's a nice walleye, man. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Yeah, solid fish, huh? Oh yeah. Look how chunky that one is. Super chunky. Boom. Right there, man. That is a gorgeous, gorgeous walleye. Very big fish. That fish hits the weight room. That's cool. Just to feel that fish, just thunk. Incredible. What a morning we've had. What a, you know, two hours and, you know, just uncountable numbers of fish. Gorgeous. Let's get that one back. That's a fun, fun fight and even better fish. There you go, girl. All right, so in this situation too, like braided line, if, if you guys are fishing current, always keep in mind, you know, braided line is, is definitely your, your friend. You get that current coming down, braided line has a thinner diameter than a monofilament. So your line can kind of cut through the water better and you're gonna get better sensitivity and better feel. It's all about feeling these walleyes thunk your, your jig. You know, your walleyes in the river system are always going to be right on bottom. So you need to, you know, have the, the, the right weight jig, but have that sensitivity, have that feel, to feel your jig be hitting bottom, and then feel that walleye crack it. And braided line will definitely uh, help you do that. So 10-pound braid, 8 10-pound floral leader, Northland Deep V jig, walleyes in the boat. Fish. That feels like a little heavier one. This one's probably got one or two of my other minnows in his mouth. That's a heavy fish. That's a heavy fish. How heavy? I don't know yet, but he's staying down. Yeah, that's a nice walleye. Too big to hoist. We'll grab the one net here. Oh yeah. Pretty fish, man. Very pretty fish. Wow, that's a gorgeous walleye. That's just the result of, you know, just fan casting around, keeping a tight line, using braid and just wait till you feel a thunk, right? That's cool, gorgeous, gorgeous fish. There are healthy fish here on the river. That's another male, that's a big male. Just wild to see. Cool, gorgeous. Let's get her back. Another one right in that same spot. Another heavy fish. And that's the thing, when you have current like this, those fish hold so tight. Above the 23 bridge is hot, buddy. Yes, it is. It is hot. They are loaded up here, that's It's sure. insane. Absolutely insane. Like, we had good fishing below it. It's even better here above it. Big walleye. That's a big walleye. <laughs> Heck yeah. Heck yeah. That's a pretty one. Look how golden that fish is. That's what we're looking for. Awesome. 23 inch fish. 23 and a half. Pretty. Dark color. Dark in color. Yeah, this is a... Uh, you know, we did good below the below the bridge, but here above it, it's uh, it's even better. And we're seeing quite a few more fish that, you know, a little bit bigger in size. And that's really what we expected, you know. They had to be somewhere out here on the river. This is actually a male, my goodness. That's a big male. It's rare to see a male this big. That's huge. Very big male. Awesome, what a fish. Let's get him back. I thought it was a female that was so big. Crazy. This is a good fish. This is a good fish. Ooh, big head shakes. Big head shakes. They just get down in that current and open their mouth, and man, you need a lot of power to get these fish up. <laughs> like, this is turning into like, one of the better days we've ever had here on the St. Louis River. Just the amount of fish and big fish at that. Just, it's, it's world class. It really is world class fishing. And to catch them on jigs and minnows, like you, it doesn't get any better. It's, it can't get any more fun. Feeling three to, you know, seven, eight pound walleyes just thunk that jig and minnow. That's that's probably one of our bigger fish of the day, buddy. Nice walleye, Very nice walleye. Very nice walleye. Absolutely on. 
real. Yes. <laughs> no, it's not going to be our biggest, but it's just a another solid, what, yeah. 23, 24, 25? Yep, I'd say in there. Somewhere in there. Fill up that London. Gorgeous, gorgeous fish. Wow. See, like that's our average down here. It really is our <laughs> average. It really is our average. And you know, like, it just shows you how special of a fishery this, this St. Louis River really is. The Northland Deep V Jig. Wow. I would say we have a healthy population of walleyes here. That is a very safe assumption. Look at that. Crazy. What a fish. What a fish. What a battle in that current. Let's get that one back quick. See ya. And that's the nice part. All these fish release very, very well. And again, the, one of the rods that we're using here is the seven foot medium power. Uh, this is the, a legend extreme from St. Croix, but really I love that seven foot length when we're kind of making longer casts around. If we're vertical jigging or shorter rod, if we're making casts, I love that seven, seven one, medium power for three eighth ounce jigs, braided line, and you are absolutely dialed. So we're gonna get this hook out of the net and get back down there. Crazy. So what we're doing here is just kind of flipping a, Flipping your bait out, keep your rod tip up high and kind of bouncing it back with the current. Again, you never really want to cast into current on a river system. Your jigs is not going to get that good action and you're not going to have very good feel at all. So again, either cast, you know, perpendicular to you and let, your, let the current kind of drift your jig back or cast right behind the boat and bring it back in. But just kind of hopping this jig around, keep it moving, keep it bouncing, maintaining a, a you know, a solid feel until you feel that that thunk of a walleye. So there he was right there, but ideally you uh, you don't miss them. So there are thieves down there, they're stealing our baits. Luckily we have more minnows, but again, just going through the mouth, out the gill, up through the belly, you can cast these baits around a little bit and just cover more water. Again, the more water you can cover as you maintain that sensitivity, or as you maintain that feel on your jig, you know, the, the better and the better chance you have at, at catching these, these walleyes, so. There you go, another one. Now oh, he's head shaking. Look like a decent fish. This day has just been crazy. The amount of fish and the size, the average I should say. Jesus. Dandy, dandy, this is a nice one here. Get in the boat. Oh yeah, buddy. <laughs> Another big fish, that's probably 25, 26 inches on the jig and plastic again, and that's been taking a lot of the big fish today. Look at that, let's get this male again back. Beautiful fish though. Here we go. And uh, today I've been liking to use uh, the jig and the plastic because it seemed to get me the bigger fish today. Was using live bait as well, but as soon as I switched over to that paddle tail, it seems like I've been getting a lot bigger fish. Dude, another like, it's incredible. The amount of like 23 to like 27, 28 inch fish we're seeing is Absolutely incredible for right here in our own backyard. I mean, that's a solid 25 inch fish yeah, all day. Sneaky long, because she's so skinny. Right. Probably definitely a female. No, wow. Oh, no, look at that. Another male. Is it really? Yeah. Jeez. Insane. Absolute insanity. Gorgeous fish though. Just pure, huh? These are those migratory fish. Like this is a, a fish that, you know, lives in Lake Superior and comes up here into the river to spawn. And we'll be dropping back out here shortly. But what a fish and what a day. I mean, I just, Starting to blow your mind at how good fishing truly is here, right here in our own backyard on the St. Louis River in Duluth. Dude, that's a big fish. Yeah, there's the. Yeah, that's a male. Right <laughs> it's crazy. Let's get him back.